Hello everyone, I am Rami Wahid, mobile developer at ERP Cloud System. And in this video, I'm going to review our mobile app for the ERP System web application. First, take a look. This is our web application, ERP Cloud System, and this is our mobile app. As you see here in the home screen, we have a selling module and stock and buying accounts and HR. So let's start reviewing our selling module. Here in the application, we have the leads, the opportunities, the customer, addresses, the contacts, and customer visits, quotation, sales order, sales invoice, and payment entry. Here in the web application, we have a lot of features, but we have here the customer and the quotation, sales order, sales invoice, and so on. So let's start by adding a new customer. First, let's go to our customer list. Here you can check all your customers and you can search for a customer. Now we have a six customers for this name. Also, we can filter our customers by customer group, the territory, the customer type, a company or individual, and also the date. Let's start by adding a new customer. Let's enter a customer name and I choose a customer group and a territory, a market segment for the customer, the industry of the customer, and the tax ID, of course, the email, the mobile number, the address, and the city. Let's choose the country and the currency of this customer, and a price list. Also, you can choose a sales partner and the payment terms and the credit limit for this customer now let's save and now we have the customer page that show all the details for this customer also you can comment in this customer and all the other users also can see this command and comment also in the connections here will show the sales invoices that related for this customer and the payment entry and more also you can attach an image And you can print, as you see, you can download the PDF from here, or you can just use Wi-Fi printer that connected to your mobile. Also, you can download a PDF directly for your customer page. Of course, you can edit your customer details. Let's change our tax ID. And you can see the update happens here. Before we continue in our app, I want you to come with me to the ERP web application and see if the details shown here. Let's remove the filter from here. And as you see, here is our customer that we just created. Also, you can show the details directly. This is a zero that we had edit. We can just edit from the web application and refresh the mobile app. You'll find the results has been shown here. It's completely synchronized between the mobile app and the web application. Let's come back to the mobile application and create a sales invoice for this customer. You can here check the sales invoices. Every sales invoice has a unique color and you can also filter all the modules in the application. Let's add a new sales invoice. Let's choose the customer. It will auto reload the details for the customer so you don't have to fill all of this data again. You'll just change what you want to change, the due date of this sales invoice, and complete what is not shown in the field. And the last thing, you have to add your items. Let's select this product and enter the quantity, five. Let's add another product. Let's have the quantity for two. And as you see, you have a list of your products and all details updated immediately here. Let's submit this sales invoice. As you see, we forgot to select important field. The app will not submit if you didn't fill the important field in the form. So let's select a warehouse and submit. Now you created a draft for a sales invoice, the ID for the sales invoice and the customer names and all the related details. You will find it here in this page. Also, you can comment and check the products and the taxes, information and payments, and if there is a connection. Also, for the item, you can press one item and check all the details about this item. Now, as you see, this is a draft. You can submit it from this button, but first, 
let's come back to the ERP web application and check our sales invoice. This is the sales invoice that we have. If you open this here, you will find all the details for this sales invoice. You can submit this page from the web application, but we are going to test it from the mobile app. It's going to ask you, are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. And submit it successfully. That was sales invoice. All the application is going to be like this tutorial. All modules will act the same. For the leads, you have a list and you can open the leads and you can edit, download a PDF, print and upload an attachment and you can comment and if there is a connection you will find it here for the opportunity is the same and the addresses for your customers and contacts and here in the customer visit it's something unique for our delivery guy that delivers the items for the customer which is using a GPS location and you can't use or add any customer visit here without using a GPS the application is going to ask you to give him the permission and if not it will not add a customer visit here this is proof that the delivery guy has reached the customer and proved the location of the delivery or the visit for the customer also this feature is present in the sales invoice and the sales order and in every document that need this feature that's it for the selling modules and here in the stock you have the items material request stock entry a delivery notes, the budget receipt, and so on, and so on, and so on. And that's it was the basic modules that you are going to use from the mobile. And of course, we will develop and increase the features of the mobile app. As you see here, we have the profile for the user, and the notification, and the application setting, and more settings. We will add and show these features later.